Howdy do, how are ya? Wow, man! Uh, old Chip gave me a buzz, man! Oh, wow, 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 wow. Dark Horse Scotty Karate. Scotch Ale. Uh, I'm doing Scotch Ales back to back. I did the Old Chub. It's 8%. This one's 975, so I want to do that one first. Uh, I guess there is no good way to do two big beers right back to back, but uh, I thought I'd give it a shot anyway. I'm using my mother's glass here. Oh, yeah, that pour is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, look at that dark. Almost dark ruby hue on it. Uh, I'm going to read a tad from their website here. For those of you who don't know who Scotty Karate is, he is a local one-man band who plays an amazing slurry of honky-tonk-influenced punk country songs. Now, this guy I would like to meet, i tell you that right now. His voice is amazing as well as his high-energy shows. Um... So we decided to name. Uh, so, I'm sorry. We just, so we decided to make a beer and name it in his honor. This is a big, full-bodied Scottish ale. It's 9.75 percent, but it's very smooth, balanced, smooth and balanced. I'm having trouble reading, man. I've already I had an eight percent Scotch ale. Work with me, man. Uh, since Scotty is also very passionate about beer, I asked him to write a description for you. Uh, so, from the man himself. Okay, I'm going to read what Scotty wrote here, but I'm going to take a drink first. Uh, already I'm getting some differences on the aroma between the two. Um, this one uh, is, uh, I'm getting, uh, getting some, some smoke, as well as some deep, Deep chocolate, I'm not getting those huge toffee notes that I got from the old chub. Oh, holy crap. Okay, I'm going to read what he said. I'm going to tell you, holy crap, that was beautiful. Uh, aroma smells like fresh caramel apple with a hint of cinnamon of cranberry shortbread. Or maybe fresh homemade candy from home economics. Uh, class 7, the great flavor. Tastes like smoky chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, I was certainly getting that. Wild roadside cherry, asparagus, woody crispy, leaf on a fall day. Yeah, I'm not getting the whole asparagus thing he's getting, but I kind of see what direction he's going. It is a little deeper and richer than the old chub. Does that make it better? Well, it's going to be for you to decide. Again, I don't like to use the term better when I'm talking about two quality craft beers. At this point, they're both great, you right? It comes down to preference. And the truth is, if I have the, them both on a 60-degree day, I might prefer the old chip because the body's lighter. If I have them both on a 40-degree day, I might like the Scotty Karate because the body is a little bigger and so more satisfying. That's why I don't like beer, beer comparisons. That's why I never assign a number or grade to beers because... You know, your opinions change. If you have the wrong beer on the wrong day, you might give it a lower grade than it really deserves. And I don't like that, man. I'm about being fair to the beer, man. How about we just give the beer a chance? How about that, man? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bring it back, Tom. Bring it back. Bring it back, man. I do find the body on this one and the flavors of this one... Uh, very rich and decadent, a tad more so than the old chub. But the old chub's got some flavors I certainly like, especially that salty caramel thing it's got going on. This one doesn't do that, though, and it doesn't have those toffee notes. But what you get from here is, again, it's big, it's rich, it's decadent. Um, you get huge chocolate. Um, I don't know if I'm getting the flavors that he wrote down. I'm not sure if... Uh, if, if how much of that is supposed to be real or not, but uh, yeah, I do understand the chocolate chip cookie thing. Um, roadside cherry, who knows? Asparagus, uh, you know. But when, however you want to describe it, this is a beautiful beer. Uh, it is a beautiful beer, and, and the colder this gets, the colder not the beer, the, the weather. The colder the weather gets, the more satisfying a beer like this is going to become. Which is again why I don't like to assign grades because it's all about your opinions change. Your your uh, uh, you know. Uh, 
whatever's happening around you changes. Your opinion on, on a beer is going to be different from one day to the next. So I'm not going to assign a number. I think that's wrong. But this is definitely both beers, actually. I don't think I said this on the last uh, video, but uh, both beers, uh, both the Oscar Blues Old Chef and this Dark Horse Scotty Karate, wow, it's beautiful, are, are buy-agains for me. They certainly are a buy-again for me. They certainly should be a beer that everybody buys once.